Sego Mini. Speedy Sebastian. Sebastian likes to move slowly. He wants to ride a bike, but is a bit scared to go fast. Maybe he can start with a skateboard. Maybe he can start with a tricycle. Maybe he can start with a scooter. That was fun, but he wants to go faster. Maybe a folding bike? Maybe a pizza wheeled bike? Maybe a 10 speed bike? What fun! How about a motorcycle? He could ride a dirt bike. He could ride a cruiser. He could ride a sport bike. Sebastian is going fast. Sebastian is going really fast. Sebastian is going super fast. Wow, a rocket bike, the fastest bike in the world. Whoa! Phew! Okay, that was too fast. Maybe the tricycle isn't so bad after all. Tri means three, like triangle. Tricycles have three wheels. Ginger's plane trip. Ginger is flying to visit her grandma, Nola. She has a surprise for Ginger. Ginger arrives at the airport early. She decides to buy a snack. She decides to use the bathroom. She decides to check her flight. She decides to get her boarding pass. On her way to the gate, Ginger has fun riding on an airport buggy. On her way to the gate, Ginger has fun riding on a moving sidewalk. On her way to the gate, Ginger has fun riding on an escalator. On her way to the gate, Ginger has fun riding on a tram. When Ginger sees the airplane at the gate, she feels excited. Soon, she will board the plane. Once on board, Ginger buckles her seatbelt. Once on board, Ginger asks for some water. Once on board, Ginger finds her seat. Once on board, Ginger stows her luggage. The plane speeds down the runway, going faster and faster. The wings lift it into the sky. When the plane is airborne, Ginger reads a book. When the plane is airborne, Ginger writes in her journal. When the plane is airborne, Ginger eats a meal. When the plane is airborne, Ginger watches a movie. Looking out the window, Ginger can see a big city. Looking out the window, Ginger can see mountain tops. Looking out the window, Ginger can see a tropical island. Looking out the window, Ginger can see the airplane's wing. When the plane flies through some clouds, it gets a little bumpy. Captain Jack tells the passengers to buckle their seatbelts during the turbulence. Finally, it's time to land. Ginger watches out the window as the plane touches down with a soft bump and glides down the runway. On the way out of the plane, Ginger peeks into the cockpit. There are so many buttons! In the airport, Grand Manola is waiting for Ginger. In the surprise, Grand Manola takes Ginger to a restaurant shaped like an airplane. Time for more airplane food! 
A plane's engine creates thrust, which moves the plane forward. The wings give the plane lift, which moves the plane upward. The fire station picnic! Today, the whole town is invited to the fire station for a picnic. Acorn buys grilled corn at the food table. Acorn buys a hot dog at the food table. Acorn buys an ice cream cone at the food table. Acorn buys a veggie burger at the food table. Meanwhile, Miso climbs into a fire truck. She gets to sit in the driver's seat. She gets to turn on the siren. She gets to talk on the radio. She gets to turn on the lights. Inside the fire station, Jack, Junja, and Harvey try on some gear. The gear's really heavy, especially the boots. The gear's really heavy, especially the helmet. The gear's really heavy, especially the big jacket. The gear's really heavy, especially the oxygen tank. Out on the lawn, the friendly firefighters teach about fire safety. Robin learns to never play with matches. Robin learns to test smoke detectors twice a year. Robin learns to keep a fire extinguisher in the house. Ginja wants to be a firefighter someday. She wants to fly an airplane. She wants to drive a fire boat. She wants to drive a fire truck. Harvey says he'd like to help save people in emergencies. Harvey says he'd like to help put out wildfires. Harvey says he'd like to help people in car accidents. At the end of the picnic, they all get presents from the firefighters. Jack's favorite gift is the fire helmet. Everyone gathers for a photo in front of the fire station. What a great day to celebrate firefighters. A fire truck that pumps water is called an engine. The Silly Truck Shop It's a busy day at the repair shop. Fixing trucks is Miso and Acorn's specialty. Oh no, Astrid's cement truck has a flat tire. Let's fix it with a ball. Let's fix it with a wheel. Let's fix it with a pizza. Happy cement mixing, Astrid. Yikes! Rosie's truck lost its wrecking ball. Let's fix it with a pumpkin. Let's fix it with a fishbowl. Let's fix it with a wrecking ball. Happy wrecking, Rosie. Wait, that's not a truck. That's Hugbot. Let's fix him with a hug. Tom has a broken tow truck. Let's fix it with a puppy. Let's fix it with a bathtub. Let's fix it with a new boom. Happy towing, Tom. It was a great day at the repair shop. See you tomorrow.
Bulldozers have tracks instead of wheels. Tracks help them drive through the mud. Coral reef cleanup. Fins has invited some friends to visit. He lives in the ocean in a sunken ship. Captain Ginja offers to bring everyone there in her big hovercraft. Captain Ginja offers to bring everyone there in her big sailboat. Captain Ginja offers to bring everyone there in her big submarine. Captain Ginja offers to bring everyone there in her big yacht. Rosie is looking forward to seeing a school of fish. Rosie is looking forward to seeing a seahorse. Rosie is looking forward to seeing a stingray. Kiki says she'll bring lots of towels to share. Kiki says she'll bring lots of swim noodles to share. Kiki says she'll bring lots of snacks to share. Harvey plans to use his underwater camera to take pictures of Helameda seaweed. Harvey plans to use his underwater camera to take pictures of sunken treasure. Harvey plans to use his underwater camera to take pictures of sea stars. The friends head to the sunken ship. On the way, they see a big cargo ship. On the way, they see sea lions on a buoy. On the way, they see a flying pelican. When they arrive, they slip on snorkel gear and jump in the water. When they arrive, they put on swim fins and jump in the water. Fins gives them a tour. Wow! An amazing coral reef has formed around the sunken ship. The coral looks like beautiful flowers, but they are actually living animals. But when the friends begin to explore, they find a plastic spoon. But when the friends begin to explore, they find a water bottle. The beautiful reef has trash on it. The friends decide to clean it up. They are careful not to touch the fragile living coral. They use a mesh bag to remove the garbage they collect. Now the reef is clean again. It's the perfect home for a sea turtle. It's the perfect home for a lionfish. It's the perfect home for a clownfish. Fins thanks his friends for their help and waves goodbye. When the friends get home, they promise to help keep the ocean clean. Riding a boat can be fun. Always wear a life vest to stay safe. H O R N Horn
Yeah. 